Hey everyone, it's Aaron Flutter here and I am here planning for November, which is, again, blowing my mind. This year is going by so, so quickly. It's kind of nuts. Um, so I am doing a somewhat music theme for November. I have a lot of different ideas that I'm playing around with. Um, so it's going to be kind of all over the place. Just a fair warning for you. So I have things sketched out a little bit. One of the things that I do want to note is that I am using this paper from uh, Canson. It's a black drawing paper, which I'm actually going to be uh, tearing up a little bit and using it kind of like scrapbooking paper. So when you see black paper come out, just note that I am using that. And then some of the colors I'll be working with are this gray Tombow Fudenosuke, which is from their new line of colors, although they do have a dual tip uh, black with gray as well. I think this one's a little bit darker than this, but I could just be making that up. I'm also going to be using N65 for my gray. I will be using a silver metallic uh, for the black paper and then this white as well for the black paper. This is a Uniball Signo and then I will be using this blue 533 as an accent color. I had the darndest time trying to figure out a color that I wanted to use. I kind of wish I would have saved the lavender maybe but I, I don't know, I was having a really hard time trying to figure out what color I wanted to use for November because in New York, you know, the, it starts to get into snowy time and stuff like that. So I really wanted to make sure that it wasn't too fall and it got a little bit more into kind of a wintery vibe. And then I'm going to use this Tombow Mono Drawing Pen 3 and this Muji 0.38. So those are all the pens that I'm going to be using. It's kind of more pens than I usually use, but that's partly because I'm using the black paper as scrapbooking paper. And I am also using a couple Simply Gilded washi tapes. So I'm going to use this black and white one and the silver, and then this white silver as well. And then probably also going to be using this uh, black and white dotted one. I'm not sure if I'm going to be pulling in any others other than that. I might pull in this silver metallic one. I'm not quite positive yet. It'll just kind of depend on how things are turning out, but that's also a possibility as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and fast forward you through this and see you at the end.
Hey everyone, so that is it for now for this November spread. I'm actually going to be adding some more stuff, like I'm gonna be adding some like headphones and stuff in here. Um, I'll probably be adding some like treble clefs and I don't know, some, some stuff to spice up the habits page at the very least. I need to go back over this white just a touch. Sometimes it takes a coat or two. Um, to really get the vibrant white look to it. Although this is the best white pen that I've come across. I know other people like jelly roll pens. Um, this pen is my particular favorite, but sometimes it does take a couple runs to get that um, more vibrant white that you're looking for. So basically what I've done is I did this like fun little nod to music. I didn't want to go overly music. So I have my little Spotify playlist with my November monthly. And I thought it would be funny to do um, the month of November as like the soundtrack uh, or the track title. And then 2018 as kind of the artist because November is within 2018 as a whole. So I don't know. I thought it would be a little bit fun. And then I like doing this staff on the ends. If you don't know already, I played on my drumline in high school. Um, so it's been a while since I have done a lot with music, but I played music all growing up. I played piano, I was a percussionist, I played marimba, all that kind of stuff. And I was on the baseline of my high school. And honestly, it was some of the best times of my life. So I thought it would be fun to just have that little nod to music. So I have my Spotify playlist over here. And then I have the habit trackers that I've broken down um, into like these little mini ones, just like I did for the past couple months that I have here. So basically uh, the first of the month, I will mark off with a dash. If I've done that particular habit, I still have to go in and mark the habits, but I think I wanna do a little design with them, so I'm not gonna do that quite yet. But I have the six habits that I'm going to track this month, and I like how simple this is, but it really has a lot of like different elements that I really like. And then this is going to be a highly utilized spread this month. Uh, the quote is, the future belongs to those who believe in their in the beauty of their dreams. It is a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. Uh, my fiance and I are going to be doing a heck of a lot of traveling in the month of November. And I realized uh, towards the end as I was numbering that I actually added an extra week, which is fine for me because um, I, I know we'll have stuff planned out for the beginning of December as well. My fiance is doing all of his um, residency uh, interviews so he'll be all over the nation for the next couple months. I have a lot of work travel that I'm going to be doing so I have a little place to mark out here for either this month or the coming month that way I have a page where I can put it. Um, he does have a lot of um, places already scheduled so I have to go ahead and take a look at his calendar. I haven't done that and I haven't fin finalized my travel for work yet I believe we are doing that this week, um, me and some of my coworkers. So I'll have more dates in there for that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the white washi tape for me and the black washi tape for him. And I will, if I can find the end of it, I will show you. No, no, where are you? Ah, there you are. So then I will run it across the bottoms of the days. Say if he was going to on a um, interview from the 15th to the 17th, I would run it along those days and just put the place right on top. These boxes, by the way, are five by five. Um, looks like I could have done six by six, no problem, but I did really wanna make sure that I had that extra space over here. But, um, uh, and then I just have some little notes scattered all around and I really like how this turned out. 
my mood page, I'm gonna be doing the same exact type of mood page that I have been doing where I letter in my moods. Honestly, it's really just a comforting thing at this point. I, I really like practicing my lettering, practicing different styles, and then really not being pigeonholed into a certain type of mood. I can really express myself multiple times throughout the day if I need to. So I use the Kuretake metallic silver pen to write on the black. And then I just added some little music notes and I'll be decorating more in there uh, once I have some words written out and I know how much space I have to work with. I have my one line a day, which if you haven't seen my one line a day for September, it is basically just a summation of that day or one thing out of that day that made me smile or one thing that I really needed to write. Um, sometimes it is um, not a great day and so I'll express myself that way as well, but I really just like writing one thing because it really helps me when I'm trying to like recap my month just see at a glance how things were going. So I have that one line a day. Uh, sorry about the shaky lines. It's a little cold in here and plus I I should have um, moved it so it was like more in the crook of my hand instead of like on the fabric of my jacket. Uh, that that wasn't a great choice by me. So I have some ultra shaky lines here. And then I have my cleaning tracker. I went back to my old one mostly because I was too lazy <laughs> to print out another one. Um, so that's my bad, but it's, it's fine. Um, again, cleaning tracker is the same that I've been doing. I mark off which days are not in the month so since it starts on Thursday the first the first starts on Thursday I mark off Monday through Wednesday and then for example the last day of the month is Friday so I will mark off like this because those days aren't applicable in this month so that's a snapshot of that. I have uh, my daily. And if you guys haven't seen how this works, I'll go ahead and link a video up over here somewhere of those uh, videos where I've done an example of the cleaning tracker, how to make it and how to use it. Uh, this one is a printable from my shop, which is always linked down below. So that's it so far. I did end up using this uh, nice silver metallic. I'll probably be bringing in some washi tape all along here somewhere, maybe up here. Um, and maybe, I don't know. I actually like how simple these pages are, so I might just bring washi tape down here, but I know that I'm going to be doing some um, like headphones and stuff like that. So I don't wanna clutter up this page too much because I really want to play with this and the amount of space I had. I just couldn't really think of it while I was sketching stuff out, but I knew that I wanted the boxes this way. So I'm gonna work around that a little bit more. So thank you guys for watching this video. I have some lovely recreations from last month. I, I got so much great feedback from my black cat theme for October and it made me so happy because obviously black cats mean a lot to me because of my two babies. So thank you guys for joining me for some black cat magic. So thank you guys for recreating. Um, if you guys want to get featured in my next video or if you guys do a similar theme for November, please go ahead and tag me in the photo on Instagram at Airflow Designs. Don't just tag me in the comment though because it's hard to catch those so make sure you tag me in the photo itself because then I can make sure I tag you in these videos for the recreations. So that is it. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like this theme. I'm really excited to use it and I will see you on Monday. Bye everyone.